I like to pick on Joey and Alyssa because they didn't believe me when I called it almost nine years ago that they would be getting married, but here we are. <laughs> Joey and Alyssa are a match made in heaven as they complement one another, but most importantly, they both have a desire to grow closer to Christ as one. Joey, how in the world would we have known in the summer 2013 that this would be where we are standing on July 4th, 2020? I just want to take the time to tell you thank you. Thank you for all the joy you have brought me and for cultivating me into a stronger me. Your patience, kindness, and selflessness remind me that God answers prayers. You serve as a daily reminder to me that God not only answers prayers, but He gives us so much more than we could ever have dreamed up for ourselves. I love you more than yesterday and not as much as tomorrow. See you at the feet of Jesus. XOXO Alyssa. I think of your love and I know without a shadow of a doubt that you are the woman that was put on this earth to love. No matter what this life brings, I know that from this point on, I'm going to have the most amazing woman by my side. And when I think of all those things that used to frighten me, they amount to literally nothing because I know that through it all, I'm going to have God above in my heart and the love of my life in my arms. And with those two things, I can faithfully say that no matter what, my cup will be overflowing. Welcome. We're glad all of you are here to celebrate in this very special couple's marriage. Lord Jesus, we love you. We thank you for the love that these two have for each other, so much like the love that you have for us. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you'd bless this ceremony and that you'd bless this union. We love you and we praise you today in Jesus' name, amen. We have finally made it to the very day that we've been waiting for, wow. When I met you nearly 10 years ago, how could I have known what God had planned for us? I can't say I experienced love at first sight because love is something that we have cultivated and continue to grow in. I can say it was something familiar, something like, oh, it's gonna be you. Every day you serve as a reminder to me that God answers prayers. Thinking back on every step of our journey and seeing how God's hand has been guiding us each step of the way is truly indescribable. You are the spitting image of the woman the Bible says a wife should be, and I cannot wait to see where we go from here. Alyssa Shea Stanley, I vow to always put God first in this marriage. I vow that from this moment forward, I will do everything I possibly can to show you that just how loved you are. Let me just say that when you're choosing a life partner, you're choosing a lot of things. You're choosing your travel companion, your career therapist, your parenting partner, someone who will deeply influence your children, and most importantly, your prayer partner. I may be biased, but I'm beyond convinced that I found the jack of all trades in you. One thing I have learned during this season of our lives is that there is an excitement in obedience and finding out later what God had in mind. I'm so thankful that I waited for a man who worships like David and is a man of faith like Joshua. I've had to do whatever it takes in order for you to know that there is nobody in this world that loves you more, that nobody cherishes you more, and that nobody could be more thankful for you than I am. I promise to be the Christian leader of our home and to always pray for every situation, no matter how big or small. I cannot wait, I cannot promise you a perfect life. I cannot promise you a worry-free life. I cannot promise that I will never let you down. But standing here before God, I can promise you that no matter what happens in this life, you will never have to face it alone. I promise to work for our marriage and never stop fighting for you. I will provide you with a safe place and home, making it a place to grow and rest. And while you're resting, I promise to always put my cold feet on you and steal all the covers. <laughs> I'll stand by your side in sickness and in health, in quarantine or distance, in riots or unity, or whatever else may come. <laughs> my prayer for our marriage is that we seek Christ, but also seek to serve Him in the way we live and love. It's my joy to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride, your wife. Woo! Well, anyway, one day Joey came up to me wanting to talk about this girl he had been talking to. So I'm sitting there listening to him going about this girl and I don't, that I don't even know, but I can tell he's genuinely excited about her. He would say her name and smile. And as the days, weeks, and months went by, I could just tell <clears throat> he was falling for you, Alyssa, even before he knew. So today is y'all's day, and I'm happy to welcome you to the family. And you'll never hear me say this again because of our competitiveness, but I'm glad to see you win today, Joey. I hope you and Alyssa have a long and happy marriage. As a conclusion, I want to share a few well wishes for the newly married couple. 
May your love be modern enough to survive the times, yet old-fashioned enough to last forever. And may your troubles be less, your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness uh, come through your door. Congrats, guys. I love y'all. <laughs>